Hey, good morning, active traders. This is Ken Calhoun from Day Trading University and TradeMastery.com with our watch list for today, Monday, February 25th, 2019. Markets are in rally mode pre market. You can see the spiders are gapping all the way up here to 280.4, so uh, quite a big jump from Friday's close. We're going to be taking a look at quite a few charts here this morning. I'm going to run through them quickly, mostly gap continuation plays. I also run our live trading room for nearly 20 years, tradingtheopen.com. Uh, great to see so many new members. If you're not yet a member, do consider joining at www.tradingtheopen.com. As always, all information is for educational use only. I'm not making advice about what to buy, sell, or hold. I'm the original since the year 2000. Anyway, let's jump into it. What are some of the hottest charts lately? Well, we've got lots of gappers this morning. Let's start off with IQ. and I'm not going to go into any great detail in these. They should be self-explanatory as to why they're of interest. There are small gaps that are continuing up following really strong Friday sessions, right? Good 45 degree angle breakout here. Small gap continuing. I'll be buying it up at new highs if it continues on up. Next up Zillow. Not as good, but at such a good Friday and it's parked up here right under 45. We'll see if it's able to break on through coming up as well. Next up, one that came up on my scanners this morning was Huya, H-U-Y-A. A nice gap continuation ran from 25 to 26 and a half, poised for a breakout. And again, all of these may crash and burn. And if they do, the pivot play is always going to be something that sells down to the previous day's high. And then bounces. And this is true for every single gap chart out there. That's my number one pivot play. And you may have seen my articles in Technical Analysis of Stocks and Commodities Magazine where I cover these and other advanced strategies. But uh, do And be sure to read, you know subscribe to the magazine. It's got lots of great content. Not just me, but a lot of other smart people talking about how to trade. Anyway, if you see a gap up that fills the gap and then reverses and bounces, previous resistance often becomes new support. So we'll see if it does that. Or if it just keeps running on up. I'll be trading it up at new highs. Next up we've got JD. And same thing. See if it crashes and goes all the way down here to the whole number, which I like because it's a whole number support slash resistance level. It's my much better pivot by the way if it goes down here and bounces than if it does a mean reversion and tries to claw its way back up. It's much better to see a heavy capitulation say down here and then I'll buy like 2620 or something that's the play in this kind of chart if it continue if it just you know grinds and then continues on up I'll buy up at new highs next up momo and it's got its momo on it's got a momentum gap from 3320 close friday up to 3480 another gapper that came up on my scanner this morning was neo Relatively cheap instrument. I'll buy it over the whole number nine if it breaks out over that. Twitter also looks healthy up here with a small gap continuation. I'll be buying a new high in Twitter. And the last of our equity picks, ACHV, had been a really big up and down mover. I was trading this, I think it was four times uh, back on uh, Friday, and I traded this move up here, which is good, but tried to catch bounces mostly unsuccessfully during the latter part of the day. So I was like open range breakout. So we'll see if it's able to climb up above resistance here and move up. Uh, or for those of you who do shorts, a, two, a loss of two day short support may be in line. You can see, by the way, this is a head and shoulders pattern. A left shoulder, head, right shoulder at the neckline. Aha, we see a pattern. I sense a disturbance in the force. So we'll see if it's gonna crash and burn down here. But more, I'm more interested in seeing if it bounces. So anyway, that'll do it. Let's see, for ETFs, I like UGAS. I'm long UGAS, small shares way up here. And T triple Q's also gapping up to new highs. And worth a shot if it continues. So anyways, that's it for today's session. And I hope that y'all do well in your trades. We've got so many great charts out there. Some of them will... You know, go sideways, some will go up, some will go down. That's the beauty of the stock market. The trick is 
developing a careful, sensible risk management strategy that scales into or builds trades successfully for the ones that keep going and to sidestep or not trade the ones that don't. So that's what my live room is for at tradingtheopen.com. So I certainly urge you to consider joining us there. Uh, I've got a low cost satisfaction guaranteed trial if you've not yet tried the live room. For those of you who have been members in the past, uh, we have expanded our coverage uh, significantly to cover some of the under $10 instruments as well. Whatever is in motion and worth trading, uh, I focus on trading. And I do live real money trades in front of everybody using my Fidelity account. So you can see the wins, the, the stops, the break-evens, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'll explain carefully with detailed pattern recognition and timing strategies explained so you can understand how to do it yourself. So do visit me at tradingtheopen.com, and I'll see you guys in the live room. Best wishes for success. See you next time.